beating expectations earlier. But when combined with all the recent housing data, what does it all mean? Our next guest says these statistics only focus on the short term. Long term, there are great investment opportunities out there, and he's got three cities you should consider right now. Greg Rand, radio host and CEO of real estate website Own America, joins us with the latest details. Good seeing you again, Greg. Good to see you, too. All right. You know, we seem to talk every couple of months, and the data doesn't show much improvement at all. Right. I mean, clearly, Case Shiller is terrible. Pricing index is terrible. Right. You, know, you get some cases where you have maybe housing starts and permits up, but that just goes to show, to Ashley Webster's point earlier, that we're growing that inventory. There really doesn't True. seem to be a whole lot positive out there. No, there's not. I mean, we're, the, the ups and downs day-to-day, -day, week to week don't mean that much. You know, everyone knows you have to go out in the street and ask 100 people, is real estate a long-term investment? They know that. And so focusing on the short-term stuff doesn't help. The bad news on the housing market, though, is ultimately really good news for investors. It's a monster opportunity for investors right now, and they recognize it. They are one in four homes this year that get purchased are going to be bought by investors. So the money on the sidelines we talk about, that is converging in because they do see past the fog of this recession. But, Greg, is it investors who are looking to live in the property they're investing in? You're no, no, your it's, rental it's rental and property. It's rental property. And also work in this whole theory of investing geographically, because that's kind of a new one. Right, yeah. Well, think about this. People talk about it not being a national market, right? It's a national marketplace, though. Just like, you know, the stock market has something for everybody, right? Different things that are more volatile, less volatile. We advise national real estate firms, we advise some funds on looking at the national marketplace and reading demographic trends, migration patterns, where the job growth mm -hmm. patterns going, because this asset class is tied to population growth, okay? So if people need to live someplace, if they're flocking to certain cities because of certain reasons related to government, jobs, etc., that shows you demand for rentals and demand for purchases of your property in the future. That plays a big role into the three cities you think you're right. going to find the best opportunities. And the first one is Phoenix, Arizona. That's See, right. It's been hit really hard with this housing crisis. It has, yeah. We have a chart for Phoenix also. We can throw that up at some point because if you look again at long-term Phoenix, you're talking about a marketplace that was steady for the, first, the better part of the first, 15, the first 10 years of the 15 years. And then during the boom, it just jumped. I mean, like a ski jump. And then it corrected. But you see where it ends up right now? It is below the trend line right now because of overspeculation, too much development, too much bad lending, that Phoenix, which is a great American city that has great prospects long term, has pain short term. And so we look at that and we say, okay, it's below the trend line, which means it's discounted as a market overall. But what is driving population growth in Phoenix? It is attracting people from all over the country, particularly California. Yeah. Why? Because it's too expensive to live and do business in California. And that's not changing right now because they reelected the same type of government they've had. So we like Phoenix because of the overcorrection and because of the population growth. So people are purchasing homes perhaps and then renting them out in these Correct. other ge 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 geographic cities. Thank you. Home ownership <laughs> rates are going down. We all know that. Okay. That's meaning that, that means that literally millions of rental households are being created during this recession. They have to live someplace. So individual people and funds are buying homes and renting them out. You also like Dallas and you also like Pittsburgh. Uh, we're out of time, but Dallas oh, for the shoot. job growth, a lot of job growth in Texas and similarly to Phoenix, you know, people are moving their companies. 38% right. of the jobs that have been created recently in America are in Texas. Yeah. And then Pittsburgh. So response, and Pittsburgh, there's a big, Pittsburgh is steady, but it's also got the shale um, natural gas yeah. extraction business mm -hmm. that is driving a lot of rental property demand in that market. So steady market with a big upside opportunity. Dallas, Phoenix, and Pittsburgh. Greg, good to see you. Thank Greg, you. Thank you. Thank you.